In this video, I'm going to break down how to start a business with zero capital and zero skills. We'll cover everything from finding your niche to marketing your services and managing your finances. By the end, you'll have a clear roadmap to follow. You want to be your own boss? Maybe you're tired of answering to someone else. Or perhaps you have a burning passion that you want to turn into a career. Whatever your reason, the idea of being your own boss is incredibly appealing. Tired of the 9 to 5 grind? The endless cycle of waking up early, commuting, and spending your days in a cubicle can be draining. You might feel like you're stuck in a rut with no way out. Everyone dreams of starting their own business, of creating something from scratch and watching it grow. It's a dream that promises freedom, creativity, and the chance to make a real impact. But you're thinking, hold up, I got no money and even fewer skills. It's a common concern. The idea of starting a business with no capital and no experience can be daunting. You might feel like you're at a disadvantage before you even begin. Am I right? Well, guess what? You're not alone. Many successful entrepreneurs started with nothing but a dream and a lot of determination. They faced the same doubts and fears that you have right now. Plenty of folks out there started with nothing but hustle and a dream. They didn't have a lot of money or a fancy education, but they had the drive to succeed. And that's what made all the difference. And let me tell you, a little bit of hustle goes a long way. It's about putting in the effort day in and day out, even when things get tough. It's about staying focused on your goals and not giving up, no matter what obstacles come your way. You don't need a fancy business degree or a trust fund to make it happen. All you need is to look around, identify the needs of the people in your community, and offer them services based on your current knowledge. The secret to starting a business with zero capital and zero experience? It's all about service. Whether it's dog walking, home cleaning, or tutoring, all you need is a bit of hustle and heart. Here's the deal. Service businesses are all about solving problems for people. You don't need fancy equipment or a big budget, just a smartphone, some flyers, and a whole lot of determination. We're talking service businesses, my friend. These are businesses that require minimal upfront investment and can be started with the skills you already have, the kind where your biggest asset is you. Your knowledge, your skills, and your passion are what will drive your business forward. It's about leveraging what you already have and building on it. So buckle up, because we're about to dive into the world of entrepreneurship, and trust me, it's going to be a wild ride. There will be ups and downs, challenges and triumphs, but if you stay committed and keep pushing forward, you'll come out on top. So get ready to take the first step on your entrepreneurial journey. It's not going to be easy, but it will be worth it. And remember, every successful entrepreneur started where you are right now. If they can do it, so can you. Now, why service businesses? Simple. They require minimal upfront investment. Think about it. You're selling your time, skills and expertise. You're not dealing with inventory manufacturing or any of that complicated stuff. You're the product and everyone's got something to offer. Maybe you're a whiz at organizing, a cleaning machine, or a dog walking extraordinaire. These are all valuable services people are willing to pay for. And the best part, you can start small, right from your own home. No need for a fancy office or a team of employees, at least not yet. It's just you, your hustle, and a whole lot of potential. So what kind of service business can you start with zero skills? Plenty. Remember, everyone's got something to offer. Let's brainstorm, shall we? How about dog walking? People love their furry friends but hate picking up after them. You could be the solution. Or maybe you're a natural born cleaner. House cleaning, office cleaning, window cleaning, rubbish collection. You name it, there's money to be made in making things sparkle. Got a green thumb? Offer gardening or landscaping services. Handy with tools? Become a handyman or woman. The possibilities are endless, my friend. The key is to identify your strengths and find a service that aligns with your interests and abilities. Okay. I know what you're thinking. Dude, you said zero skills. And while it's true that some services require specialized knowledge, many can be learned on the job. Remember, we're talking about basic services here. You don't need a PhD to walk a dog or fold laundry. What you need is a willingness to learn and a commitment to providing excellent service. The internet is your friend, my friend. YouTube tutorials, online courses, there's a wealth of information out there to help you acquire new skills. And don't be afraid to start small. Take on a few clients, get some experience under your belt, and build your confidence as you go. Remember, even the most successful entrepreneurs started somewhere. You might be wondering where to start. Well, the first step is to identify what basic services are in demand in your area. Make a list of services you think you could offer. Do some research to see what people in your community need. Check local job boards, community centers, and social media groups. Once you have an idea of what services are needed, create a simple business plan. It doesn't have to be complicated. Set some goals and milestones for yourself. This will help you stay focused and motivated. 
Next, create a profile on freelancing platforms or local service websites. This will help you reach potential clients. Don't underestimate the power of networking. Attend local events, join community groups, and let people know about the services you offer. As you start getting clients, always ask for feedback. Positive reviews can help you build a strong reputation. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you do something, the better you'll get at it. As you gain experience, consider expanding your service offerings. This can help you attract more clients and grow your business. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small. Every step forward is a step towards your goal. And always remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So take that step today and start your journey towards success. Now you might be wondering, how do I get clients if I have no money for marketing? It's a common concern, especially for small businesses and startups. But don't worry, there are plenty of ways to get the word out without breaking the bank. Easy. We're going old school word of mouth, baby. This method has been around for centuries and for good reason. People trust recommendations from those they know. So start by spreading the word among your immediate circle. Tell your friends, family, neighbors, that weird uncle nobody talks about, everyone you know. The more people who know about your business, the better. And don't just stop at telling them, ask them to spread the word too. Word of mouth can create a ripple effect reaching people you wouldn't have thought of. Social media is your best friend. Create a Facebook page, Instagram account, whatever the kids are using these days. These platforms are free and have a massive reach. Plus, they allow you to connect with your audience in a more personal way. Post about your services, share testimonials, and engage with your audience. Respond to comments, answer questions, and show that you're active and approachable. The more you engage, the more visible you become. And don't underestimate the power of good old-fashioned flyers and business cards. These might seem outdated, but they're still effective. A well-designed flyer can catch someone's eye and make them curious about your business. Put them up at local businesses, community centers, anywhere your target audience might be. Think about places where people gather and spend time. Coffee shops, libraries, gyms, these are all great spots to leave your marketing materials. Remember, marketing doesn't have to be expensive, it just has to be effective. It's all about being smart with your resources. Analyze what works and what doesn't, and adjust your strategies accordingly. Get creative, think outside the box, and get your name out there. Host a free workshop collaborate with other local businesses, or even start a blog. The possibilities are endless. The key is to be consistent and persistent. Keep pushing your message and eventually it will stick. Attend local events and network with people. Face-to-face -face interactions can leave a lasting impression. Bring your business cards and be ready to talk about what you do. You never know who you might meet and how they could help your business grow. Plan your content ahead of time. A content calendar can help you stay organized and ensure that you're consistently putting out valuable information. This keeps your audience engaged and coming back for more. Track your progress. Use analytics tools to see what's working and what's not. This data can provide valuable insights and help you refine your marketing efforts. Celebrate your successes no matter how small. Every new client, every positive review is a step forward. Acknowledge these milestones and use them as motivation to keep going. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Whether it's advice from a mentor, feedback from your customers, or support from your community, there are always people willing to lend a hand. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. So, marketing on a shoestring budget is not only possible, but it can also be incredibly effective. With a bit of creativity, persistence, and smart planning, you can get your business noticed without spending a fortune. Now, go out there and make it happen. Listen up, because this is crucial. In the service industry, the customer is king or queen. Treat every client like they're royalty, even if they're being a pain in the you-know-what. Be responsive, be professional, and always go the extra mile. A happy customer is a repeat customer, and they're more likely to recommend you to their friends. Word-of-mouth marketing is gold, my friend, and it's free. So, put on your best smile, even if you're gritting your teeth, and deliver exceptional service every single time. Started small? Good. Now it's time to level up. Once you've got a steady stream of clients and a good reputation, you can start thinking about turning your side hustle into your main gig. This means setting yourself up as a legitimate business. Get a business license, register your business name, and open a separate bank account. It might seem daunting, but trust me, it's not as complicated as it sounds. There are plenty of resources available to help you navigate the legal and financial aspects of running a business. And once you're officially official, you can start thinking about expanding your services, hiring employees, and building your empire. Look, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Starting a business is tough. There will be bumps in the road, setbacks, and maybe even a few epic fails along the way. But that's okay. 
Failure is part of the journey. What separates the successful entrepreneurs from the rest is their ability to learn from their mistakes and come back stronger. So don't be afraid to take risks, to try new things, and to fail sometimes. It's all part of the learning process. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and use those failures as fuel to propel you forward. Remember, the only way to truly fail is to give up. Starting a business with zero capital and zero skills is totally doable. It's all about finding your niche, providing excellent service, and hustling like your life depends on it. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a successful business. It takes time, effort, and a whole lot of dedication. But trust me, the rewards are worth it. Being your own boss, setting your own hours, and building something from the ground up is an incredible feeling. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and make it happen. I told you starting a business with zero capital and zero skills is possible. You got the ideas, the hustle, and the drive. Now go out there and make your dreams a reality. And remember, I'm always here to cheer you on and maybe even invest in your business one day. Now go get them. Did you love this guide to starting your own business? Hit that like button and share it with your friends who need that extra push. Got questions or your own hustle stories? Drop a comment below. Let's keep this conversation going. And don't forget to subscribe for more business tips and tricks from yours truly.